good morning, y'all. Hope you're doing well. Um, listen, let me get it into the word very quickly, and then we, and then I'll move on on little announcements. Um, but I want to interrupt the previous shown program of the seven things the Lord detests and the six things He hates for a little um, brief interruption. Um, many of you know the verse Matthew six thirty three that says. But seek first his kingdom and, uh, and righteousness on all these things will be given to you as well. That verse, this weekend, I heard somebody say, well, you know, seek him first, put him first, and then everything just falls right into place. And, and she, she was referring to this scripture, and, um, and I had to stop in my tracks and go, no, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that when you put God first and you seek Him first, that everything just falls into place lovely. It, I mean, the way the person was saying it is, it was as if troubles will never come when you seek God first. I don't agree with that at all. Um, good, good. Um, in fact, this scripture right here, that Matthew six thirty three, that this is talking about. And when it says, and all these things will be given to you as well, we have to look at the scripture above that and around that to know what it's talking about. And it is, it's it's talking about, it's that scripture that says, don't worry about what you'll eat or drink or what you'll wear. God provides for the, um, the sparrow. He will provide for you. Um, you just do what you're supposed to do. And, um, and so... I just want to, I, I want to say to people, the truth is that you will have trouble when you're seeking God with all your heart and you are um, begging for his will. You're in a war, people. It, it is not going to be hunky-dory. Things will not always fall into place. That's why we have to be so discerning of what the spirit wants, because easy Easy, easy, easy does not mean God's will. But roadblock, roadblock, road, roadblock does not mean it's not God's will. So things can be very difficult and you could be on God's path. But things could be so easy just falling into place. And that may not be God's will. You have to be discerning of what it is that God would have you about. Just because you're seeking the Lord and putting him first does not mean things will just fall into place. I don't know. That just really bothered me when I heard that because I think that's part of the reason so many, so many Christians and especially baby Christians fall away and say, you know what? Forget that. I tried and tried and tried to do everything right and it was just too hard. The more I sought the Lord, the more trials came up. You know what? That's the way it works sometimes. The more you the more you seek him, the more battle because Satan wants to frustrate you. He wants to steal, kill and destroy you. It's not easy. Christianity is not for wimps. Okay. I got that off my chest. That bothered me this weekend. Um okay. Yesterday, I had that radio interview um, with the with the station um, WVYN, The Vine, 90.9, and um, you can go on the internet and listen to that, and um, it, what, what we are, are talking about is a little bit bigger than what I was thinking. But we're praying through a possible um, women's mi ministry kind of um, show. Um, so I, I, oh, I'm really, really excited. It's something I can do from home. Um, these, these guys that I met with are so awesome, seeking the Lord, joyous. Oh, they had so much joy about them. Um, I don't know. I'm really, really excited, y'all, about this opportunity. Um, I'm going to need more than just a couple devotions. Um, it will be a themed show. 
uh, ha, I'm just, I'm really, really excited. So that, that sounds neat. Um, today I'm going to meet with our speaker coordinator down in Harrisburg. And um, she is the one when we get uh, speaker invitations to, to go somewhere, we send them to her. She matches it with the right speaker and then matches up the event planner with the speaker and, and does those kind of details. So we're going to see her today. Um, uh, we received our DVD yesterday um, about the resolution conference that's taking place on September 26th. And it is incredible, y'all. It is so good. So I will be placing that on my blog pretty soon for you to see, for you to copy and spread all over the United States, the world, so we can get people to this conference. It's going to be incredible. Incredible. And then um, the last thing, our whole heart faith starts tomorrow. So tomorrow, if you will come back to the blog, I will have um, a, a message made for you and like what what we're going to try to do. Mr. Linky, I figured him out. You should see that on yesterday's post. Go ahead and sign up. Um, and then um, we'll just keep going from there and just see what God takes us in. I will actually have my scales tomorrow that I'm going to stand on and then I'm going to hold up because it's digital and I'm going to show you what my idol weighs at this point and um uh, I shouldn't have been eating for like seven days before I did that but that's okay I gotta I gotta address this and so I'm gonna have my whole heart in faith and present it to the Lord palms up whole heart in my hand giving it to him and saying let's go God all right that's about it I, I'm so pumped for today um so excited to meet Tip Tiffany officially and all of that. And um, well, God is good. You know that. Trials or no trials, God is good. Love you so much. See you later. Bye-bye.